Welcome to Hands-On Supervised Machine Learning with Python. Here we're going to learn the guts and the implementation of many of the common machine learning algorithms you interact with in your daily life, whether you realize it or not. There's going to be plenty of math, theory, and tangible code examples to satisfy even the biggest machine learning junkie. And hopefully you'll pick up some useful Python tricks and practices along the way. My name's Taylor Smith, and I'll be your instructor. I've been a data scientist for five years within several Fortune 40 companies and have been leading teams and teaching machine learning for the last few. Additionally, I'm an open source, very active open source contributor, and I love to preach about the wonders of Python. If you're a fellow Pythonista, this may well just be a great course for you. So let's look at the timeline of what we're going to be learning here. We're going to start out with a very brief introduction of supervised learning, and then we're going to share a real life machine learning demo, review some of the math you may have forgotten over the last few years, and then discuss how we know whether or not a model is good. In the next section, we'll begin covering parametric models, where we're going to learn about various types of regression techniques. In the third section, we'll cover non-parametric models, such as decision trees and clustering, and even implement some from scratch. And finally, in the last section, we're going to cover some of the more esoteric areas of machine learning, like deep learning, neural networks, and recommender systems. If you've been wanting to learn how deep learning works, this is a course for you. There are several things you probably should have under your belt before you try to tackle this course but they only are here to ensure that you have the best experience. The first is that we should have a working knowledge of Python. We're not going to slow down to talk about syntactical nuances, and it's really best if you have some intermediate level experience, but we'll take basic. The next is that at some point in your past, you should have taken a calculus course. We'll be looking at derivatives briefly, but we'll also do a recap. So if you don't remember how to take derivatives, or if you never have, don't worry, we'll cover it, but only briefly. It's not a calculus course after all, but we will use it. A wish list item for the best experience is that you already know some best practices in machine learning, such as data splitting and cross-validation. And while these are not necessary to understand, they're terms that we'll use, and the scope of this course is not applied machine learning, uh, but the implementation details. So really, the understanding uh, will only augment your experience with the examples, but beyond that, it's not necessary. If you stick with me through this course, my hope is that at the end, you'll walk away with an in-depth understanding of how machines learn patterns, and maybe you'll even acquire enough knowledge to be able to make that next leap into the machine learning job of your dreams. I hope you'll join me in hands-on supervised machine learning with Python.